Hey everyone, so today we're going to be doing the areas of geometric figures. So we're going to be looking at four figures, which is a square, a rectangle, a triangle, and a parallelogram. So we're just going to be going through those and just going over the basic formulas and just showing you how to do it. So, so the first thing to keep in mind is what is area. So area is the amount of surface a shape covers, and it's always expressed in the units squared. So whether it's inches, meters, whatever it is, the answer is always going to be squared. So for a square, this is definitely the easiest one to find. We know that all the sides of a square are equal. So these are all five inches. So to find the area of a square, it's basically a side times a side. So you would just do five inches times five inches, which equals 25 and remember we said it would be inches squared the units are always squared when you're finding area so that's easy side multiplied by the side and that's the answer so as far as the area for a rectangle it's relatively easy too the formula is just the length times the width so for here the length is four meters and the width is three meters so all you have to do is four times three, which gives you 12. Remember it's meters squared. So that's how you would find the area for a rectangle. So for here, a triangle, we have the area is one half base times the height. So as you can see, the base here is 11 centimeters. And then the height here is 10 centimeters. So we're going to do 1 half times 11 times 10. So you can just plug this into your calculator. You could start with 1 half times 11 times 10. And you'll see that the answer is going to come out to 55. Make sure again that it's centimeters squared. So that is the answer there. So for a parallelogram, the area here is easy again. It's just base times height. So we have the base, which is, would be the same as here too, 15 inches. And then the height here is shown as 8 inches. So we're just going to do base 15 times 8, which is going to give you on your calculator 120 again don't forget inches squared so that's how you get that so that was just a quick tutorial on how to find the area of four geometric shapes this is just kind of like the start of it it gets a little trickier when it comes to like sizes and proportions but this is just an intro video um you can come on Thursdays and tune into the Smith Hill Library homework help from four to five and I'll be there for any help or assistance you need. But yeah, hope this video helped.